Hi everyone, my name's Connor McDonald. This is how you get in touch with me over Twitter, and this is the blog where I write about things about Oracle. And today, I'm very excited to be writing about the latest bundle patch in 12C Release 2. Now you probably know that 12C has always been C for cloud, but the other thing that we always wanted to get into this release was a more complete version of data reliability. Absolute complete reliability no matter what the situation. And today we're very excited to announce just that. First of all, here's our safe harbor, and now let's get into the demo of complete reliability. So let's look at this functionality in action. So just to reiterate, you'll need to be on the very latest version. So you need 12.201, obviously bundle patch as well. Bundle patch 201.704.01 is the one you'll need. So let's do a select star from the employee table. As you can see, that works just as we'd expect. Now, when it comes to reliability, the worst thing that could possibly happen is if someone mistakenly drops that employee table. So let's give that a go. We come back to our other session, run select star from M, and as you can see, we have a problem. We've now lost that data. That's a bit of a disaster if that's a critical table in your application. But with this new bundle patch, you can actually get extreme levels of reliability. Let's have a look at that in action. I'll clear the screen and we'll re-look at our query. But this time, I'll do alter session, set application profile reliability limits equals full. I want full reliability in my application however possible. Now that the session's been altered, Let's do my select star from emp, which has been dropped. It's a bit of a pause while it's doing some work, but there's my data bag, even though the table has been dropped. So the question is, what's going on? Well, we'll have a look behind the scenes. Let's put a clear screen and we can run this again. But this time, we'll also do set warnings on a new SQL plus session, which is related to the application profile reliability limits. Now let's rerun that query, select star from M, and now we get some feedback. They'll be prefixed with an at sign showing that it's just informational stuff, but it says the table was dropped. We're actually resurrecting the structure. We're going and finding the segment header information, reallocating the extents, bring it all back to a consistent point of SCN, and there's our data, even though the table has been dropped. That's part of the new feature in terms of reliability limits. Fantastic stuff. There is not much you can do to the database that will defeat this. Let's look at another example. So I'll come out of SQL Plus in this window. Let's go find the data file for that table called EMP. It's in the samples table space. We're going to do something quite catastrophic. We're going to delete the samples data file. Let's come back into our screen and see what happens when we try to do a query now. After all, we've just corrupted the database. Let's run our select star from EMP, and we tell us the table space samples have been corrupted. It automatically goes and finds the backup, restores it to a temporary file, does a recovery, marks the table read only just because it is a restored backup, automatically logs an incident in ADAR-CI, and there you go, your data is still there. How incredibly cool is that? Let's take it one step further. Let's go to our other window where we deleted the samples. Let's go in as sysdba and let's shut down a board. Let's wipe the thing all together. So while it's doing that, let's now come back here. You can see the database has been shut down. Let's come back here and see what happens when we try query the EMP table now. Let's run select star from EMP in the file and communication channel, we're used to that, but it's a warning. So you can see, we actually redirected your request to the data guard node if we could find one, and then we actually ran your query. And by the way, in the background, we restarted the database for you, and we get that information saying the database has been restarted, and the connection has been automatically failed back from the data guard node back to the main database. Incredibly cool. Let's now take it a step further. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
take the hard disk out. There we go. Let's see how smart the database is now without a hard disk. So not only did I shut the database down, but it's been restarted automatically for me. Now it's gone. I've taken the hard disk out of the laptop. It's not going to be able to even work. But let's see what happens now. I do this. Obviously, I can't find any data files. It's missing or corrupted. What do we do? Guess what? 12.2 with that new bundle patch automatically took a clone of your system to our Oracle Free Cloud Backup service. It's now uncompressing the backup, restoring the database, putting the control file back in place, doing a recovering, and putting the unique ID back for Arman back to its original point. And there's our employee table again. There you go. The Oracle Application Profile Reliability Limits. Absolutely fantastic feature. You will never lose data again. Thanks for watching.